Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the automatic memory management. As the name signify, automatic means we are going to manage the memory automatically. So first of all, we are going with this diagram. Then we will understand how the automatic memory management work. Now let's say we are taking the normal memory management. So this is the diagram of normal memory management. We know that we learn many languages like C, C++. Let's say the C++ is the example here. We be so various languages we learn. Now in those languages we create objects and the variables. Now whenever we are going to create any object, they take some memory. Now let's say if I take some example here. Now this is the program which we have created. So this is some kind of code is there. Now in this code, let's say I have created some object. We know that object is the part of the classes. Whenever we create some class, their object is created. Now these objects, let's say object one, object two, object three, they take some memory. When we just create the program, these objects are created and afterward we close the program and go home. We don't do anything with the allocated memory. But these memories are into the system. So they are the wastage of memory. Now there should be some person who should be taking care of these memory because it is unnecessary allocated. So in the C++ and the onwards, we are having the features of destructor also. We know that there are two things. One is the constructor who allocate the memory and there is a destructor who destroy the memory. So let's say here in the normal memory management, we are using the destructor. Destructor means which is going to destroy the allocated memory. So let's say there was the object where we said null. Null means Earlier that object was having certain value, let's say the value of object was something, now that object was null. Null means that value we have removed. Similarly, if we talk about the VB, in the VB we deallocate the memory by saying object is equal to nothing. So this way we use a destructor and we just deallocate the memory. Now understand that if I am writing this line for one object, now, if let's say there are multiple objects, there are thousand objects. So I will be writing this line thousand times. So this line I have to write thousand times for the C++. So that's why you can see that it is mentioning thousand times write code for deallocating memory from objects. This is the normal memory management we are talking about. So if we are understanding the normal memory management, we should understand that whenever we are making any program, at that time we create many objects and those objects take some memory. When we close the project normally, then those memory remain in the system. So we need to deallocate them. Now in C++ and onwards languages, there is a concept of destructor which deallocate the memory. But if I write the code for every object and let's say there are thousand objects, thousand times I have to write the code for deallocating the memory. If I am using thousand objects, I need thousand lines. So that is really impossible thing and it is really not a good thing even. If maybe I am applying some looping statement or something, anything if I am applying, then that is perfectly not fine. So this is the normal memory management where we have to use multiple lines to deallocate the memory. Now we are learning the automatic memory management. Now this automatic memory management is taken care by the CLR. We know that CLR is the common language runtime. In the .NET, CLR is the major component. We know that there are three components which are very much powerful in the .NET. One is the CLR, which is actually working everything. Then is the CTS, which is common type system. Means all the data types and the types of all the programming languages should be same so that they become interoperable. 
and the third component is the fcl which is the framework class library which provide the power to your code so clr is very powerful here which is very important component and in this clr we are having one thing which is the garbage collector so clr provide the functionality of automatic memory management using the garbage collector so you can say that automatic memory management is a feature provided by the clr with the help of garbage collector or we can simply say that clr is having a component which is garbage collector and this garbage collector take care of automatic memory management now we are understanding what is automatic memory management now in the earlier memory management we have learned that we has to write the code for deallocating the memory but let's say there is some person who is taking care about all the unused objects yes this is the garbage collector so here let's say you are having the unused objects maybe it is the object 1 or another unused object it is the object 2 or there is a used object means it is working which is object 3 so garbage collector automatically taking care of these objects who are unused so that means first object and the second object these are the unused objects so garbage collector will destroy them so these two objects will not be into the memory automatically so garbage collector is going to scan the heap memory we should understand that there is a memory called heap now here if we talk about in this heap all the objects are stored let's say if we have created the object 1 so object 1 will be stored into the heap we have taken the object 2 then we have taken the object 3 so all the objects which we are creating are stored into the heap it is called the managed heap and let's say object 1 and two they are not working so these two are not working not working means they are not into use right now by the program but yes object number 3 that is into the working condition means it is active used by the program so here garbage collector comes after every few seconds let's say there is some time span it goes and scan the complete heap and in this heap it find that whatever the objects which are not required let's say we know that the object 1 is not required so it remove it object 2 is not required it remove it so this way it remove these objects and yes who is the survival afterward we can see that object 3 survived because object 3 was the used object so here with the help of the garbage collector we automatically delete the unused objects that's why you can see that automatic delete the unused object you are no longer going to write these lines object is equal to null or object is equal to nothing no line is required the garbage collector automatically doing all these things and who is providing this garbage collector clr so clr provide the automatic memory management with the help of the garbage collector so here we can understand that automatic memory management means freeing up the resources which are unused now what are the resources we know that the memory is the major resource which any program use so here we automatically free the resources when they are no longer in use we know that object 1 and object 2 was allocated into the heap but there was unused objects that's why they was removed so we can say that these two memory locations are now freed for any other object so this way we have just saved some resources means whosoever is required will be getting that memory only unnecessary wastage of memory is taken care so this is the automatic memory management and automatic memory management is provided by the clr using the garbage collector 
so we can say that the garbage collector is the main component who is taking care after the automatic memory management and where the garbage collector is present it is the part of clr that's why we say the automatic memory management is the functionality of the clr but it used the garbage collector for this purpose now we are talking about the resource allocation resource allocation means allocating the resources and what are the resources memory is the resource so here we are talking about the memory allocation now this is the thing which is taking care by the clr clr says that we should be allocating the objects only into the managed heap so we can say that clr require that all resources should be allocated from the managed heap so let's say if we are having the three objects now object 1 2 and 3 now these three objects need some memory and this memory is the resource so these memory allocation or the resource allocation should be into the managed heap only because we know that managed heap is taking care by the garbage collector garbage collector is observing the managed heap and whenever there is memory which is not in use or the object which is not in use that will be freed up so clr says that all the resources resources means memory and who take the memory objects so all the memory should be allocated from the managed heap only and garbage collector manages the release of this allocated memory so here three objects object 1 2 and 3 was taking the memory that means they were taking the resource and they was allocated using the heap and object 1 and object 2 was not used that's why they are removed and who removed them who saved the memory it is the garbage collector that's why they says that garbage collector manages the release of allocated memory because object 1 and object 2 memory was earlier allocated and now it is released and who is releasing them garbage collector so cumulative we can say that dot net support automatic memory management and who provide this automatic memory management it is the garbage collector and which is the part of the clr so this is the whole process by which we are having the automatic memory management the resources are allocated to the heap garbage collector just remove those objects or the resources which are not in use and those memories are freed up so that we can reuse them so this is the whole process of automatic memory management